Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install uh, Microsoft Silverlight on Windows 10. So the process is nearly identical for earlier versions of Windows and the number of applications that having Silverlight that can be used for it is pretty large. So we're not going to really get into that part of it. However, I'm going to show you guys how to easily download Silverlight. So the quickest way to do it would be to open up a web browser here. I'm just going to open up Chrome. It doesn't have to be Chrome, it can be any other browser you choose. And once you're on Google, you want to type in Microsoft Silverlight and then hit enter on your keyboard. Should be a link that says Get Silverlight. I'm going to left click on that. Make sure it has a Microsoft domain for the URL. So for the direct download links, the first one should be for Windows and the second one should be for Macintosh. Before you download, you might want to check out the System Requirements tab on the middle here. This will give you a breakdown of which operating systems are supported by Silverlight. And it will even give you a little bit of instruction if you wanted to uninstall Silverlight. But we're, for the purpose of this video, we're going to install for Windows. And just left click on that. And it shouldn't take very long. The executable is only about 6.5 megabytes. So once it's done downloading, we're going to open it up to run it. If you get a user account control window, select yes. Now at this point, you can deselect a couple of these options here. If you do not want to make Bing your search engine, you can uncheck that. And if you want to not make MSN your home page, you can uncheck that one as well. Then you can install now. And it shouldn't take very long, it's pretty quick. We can see it's almost 100% done, just as I'm speaking right here. And we can also enable Microsoft updates for Silverlight if we keep this check box checked, which I don't see why not. We'll keep it checked, keep everything up to date. And then left click on this next button at the bottom right. And we can see the installation was successful. You might have to refresh your web pages in order to have this plugin take effect if you're having issues with a Silverlight connection. But for the purpose of this video, you can just close out of this installer and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.